My wife, Eileen, and I are on a mission to bring real hope to everyone who thinks that in their life, impossible is the only way out. He's a warrior. He's a protector of our home. He's, he's a provider. He's a sincere, he's an honest person who loves people, who loves the broken. That's his calling, are the broken people. Are the broken people. I think the enemy, uh, who we know to be Satan or, you know, the enemy of our soul, actually has and works very hard on trying to distort just simple truth about spiritual warfare. So former Marine and martial arts expert Victor Marks recently led what he called a high-risk mission uh, to northern Iraq. We come in in a supportive way, uh, our organization and ministry, to help provide trauma relief and it was actually by invitation with the Kurdistan government because they were saying, we've, we've had so many girls uh, be released. There's still several thousand, but the trauma that they face is beyond what we even know to do. So they asked us to get a quick response team. So we did with ATP Ministries. We're doing a lion and a lamb initiative, which are little toys mm -hmm. uh, that actually have audio devices that have prayers and comfort in them. Uh, to be able to distribute on a large scale, because just a child holding it, it actually makes a difference. Yeah. But we provided relief for them in ways that are practical and says that God loves them. And it's working, because uh, these little Lana Lamb stuffed toys are healing tools because they have music in them and uh, specific to this region and in their language, prayers of hope, talking uh, about how much God loves them. You know, we've been privileged to be able to help facilitate and be part of in some way or another rescuing and helping girls or kids that ISIS has captured and used as sex slaves and tools and recruiting deals. This is what they use to bind up a kid's hands. And this is a round that picked up off the ground that they used to shoot them. There's so many that still need to be helped. But God, he's called us to do this. So we want to be about the kingdom's work, the king's work, uh, advancing and, and really engaging in the enemy. And God's given us wisdom and skill sets and great people to make a difference. But it's good just for you to see, for everyone to kind of see faces that are real, real, real people, not just statistics. And I hope it touches your heart so that you, uh, you pray for them. Someone invited me to go speak to some kids who were locked up, and I thought, what? And I had just started really being comfortable enough to tell my story to people. And I thought, all right, I'll go tell them, because I know if, if a kid's locked up and in prison, I guarantee you the majority of them come from crazy backgrounds. Just come forward. If in any one of those categories you raise your hand saying, I feel like the Lord is speaking to me, come forward and we'll pray. Over the past 20 years, Victor Marks has developed a better way to address some of our most difficult challenges, not bound by race or religion, human trafficking, incarcerated youth, post-traumatic stress. By helping people escape these destructive cycles, Victor has found a solution, the third option. In 2016, I met with an extremely influential Muslim cleric in Iraq who had never before met with a Christian leader. And by pursuing this third option, consisting of dialogue and understanding, we were able to work together and then locate, stabilize, and put into place a mechanism to safely relocate several persecuted Christian families. These families were fleeing extremists set on destroying or enslaving them. You know, people say, well, you risk y'all's lives going over there. Yeah, we do. But if I'm in the center of God's will, is it my business how I go home or not?